The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. So glad you could join us. I have Professor Roy here, Noelia, Adrian, Cadence, and Jafet. Would you like to join us and see what we're doing today? I can't wait to find out what, what you have. I'm already getting hungry. I think my stomach was starting to grow when I saw this food. Yeah, y'all like food? Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, we should eat uh, a lot of different kinds of food, shouldn't we? Yeah, we really should. You know, today we're going to be talking about pH, and pH uh, ha has to do with uh, foods that are very acidic or acidy, okay, and foods that are alkaline or basic, which is interesting. And we've got some things like this. What comes in bottles like that? Water. Water, right? Water. Okay. <laughs> now, water. Now, water has a pH, too, and most things have pH, and the water has a pH of about 7 at room temperature. But let's look at some foods like this right here. We got a banana. We have some grapes. We got some other fruit right here, and they're, they're acidic, okay, so they have more acid in them, which is interesting to me. And uh, we want to be able to, uh, you know, what about your stomach? Do you have acid in your body? Oh yeah, we do. and we have some. We have stomach acid, don't we? Now, stomach acid is a very, very strong acid. It has an acidity uh, rating of zero, and something with zero is very, very high acidic. Okay, very, very acidy. And fourteen is way on the other scale, which is a basic food or an alkaline food. Interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So your stomach acid. Hydrochloric acid it has a, 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 a pH of zero. It's very, very strong. It's the strongest acid that we know of just about. And what do you suppose that stomach acid does? Nope. Right, it breaks down our food, doesn't it? The things that we eat, it breaks down our foods, which is interesting, isn't it? It can also help if we, uh, if we take in something like uh, maybe a germ or something that, that's on our food. It can destroy it. It's very, very strong. So do we want to eat foods that are very, very acidy all the time? No. no, we want to have a variety because we, we need that variety. So the best way to have a variety of eating is to eat a different variety of foods and different colors of foods. Isn't that interesting? If you're eating the same foods over and over again, that's probably not the best diet, but we need a variety. Well, we're talking about all of that. You know what we could do? We could do an experiment, couldn't we? I can't wait to see Let's what do an experiment for us. by using some acids and some bases. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? But we got to know what we have, and so we need some kind of an indicator to kind of tell us if we have an acid or a base. And that's what we're going to do today. So I think we probably ought to put your what? Safety, safety glasses. glasses. Let's put your safety glasses on. Okay, here we go. Now what I have right here is I have a beaker, and that beaker has a combination of different things. It has some ammonia in it, right? Do you have ammonia at home? Say yes. Say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because we have a lot of household cleaners, right? Mm. And household cleaners, they can have ammonia in them. But it's a very, very strong, very, very strong. And so this is ammonia mixed with some water. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add something to it. And we're going to add something to it. And what we're going to add is an indicator for pH. It's going to let us know if we have uh, something that's very acidic or something that's very alkaline or a basic, OK? All right, so here we go. What I'm going to do here, why don't you go ahead okay, pass them out. and pass those All out, right. okay? These are little right pipettes, now. and the pipette has an indicator of pH, and it, that indicator is called phenolphthalein. Can you say that? Phenolphthalein. There we go. What I want you to do is we're going we're gonna to represent the droplets of phenolphthalein. Uh, that's going to be, uh, oh, what could that be? Oh, I know what. It could be our sins. It could represent our sins. Now, have you ever sinned? You know, everybody has sin on the face of this earth, right? The Bible said everybody sin and come short of God's glory. So those little drops that you're going to be putting in this liquid right here is going to represent our sins because everybody sin. Your grandma, your grandpa, uh, Aunt uh, Francini has, has sin. I have sin. Everybody has sin on the face of this earth. And that's why Jesus came to this earth, right? 
mm -hmm. take care of that problem of sin. All right, so what do we have in here? We have, we've got ammonia, which is a cleaning agent that we have, and we also have uh, some water in there as well. So I'm gonna come by over here, and let's see, turn your, turn your pipette right side up or upside down. <laughs> Well, there you go, because we want to make some droplets right here. So we're going to turn right. it like this, okay. okay? But don't squeeze it yet. Hey, why don't you put uh, two drops in there? Just squeeze it very lightly. One. Two. Two. Wow. What's, ah. hap what's happening to this liquid? Can you see a change? Why don't you put a couple in there, too? One. Oh. One. Two. That's right. And that represents our sins, because we've all come short of God's glory, and we've all sinned. And what's happening to that clear liquid? Oh, there we go. We have a nice squirt in there. That clear liquid is turning colors, isn't it? That's right, because you know what sin? Sin does change us, doesn't it? It absolutely changes us. And then go ahead and put some more in there. Put a couple more drops of, of the phenolphthalein in there. And it's turning red. It's turning kind of pinkish in color. And you can go ahead and do the same thing because we're actually that... The, that liquid inside of the container is a, a base. It's a base because we have ammonia and water and that's basic. Look at what's happening to our liquid. That's interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. And now that clear, clear, clear liquid is turning pink, isn't it? It's turning pink. Okay, here, why don't you grab, okay, put another drop in there. There you go. Here, you put another drop in there. And what's happening to it is turning pink. The Bible also says that our sins are as scarlet, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You want your sins to be as, as, as white as snow? Yes. Would that be like our sins being gone? Mm -hmm. It would, wouldn't it? Yep. Well, how does that work anyways? Well, let's stir this all up. And that's a nice pink color, isn't it? But you know, that represents our sin. I, I don't want sin in my life. You want sin in your life? I don't want sin to rule me at all. So we've got to get rid of this thing called sin. We've got to get rid of that pink color. So that's what? It's very basic, isn't it? So how do we get rid of something that's basic? Shall we add an acid to it? Mm -hmm. Let's find out if we can do that. And if we can do that, if we can make that color go back to clear again, then we can probably get to something that's very, very neutral, okay? Like our body, your body and my body, we're, uh, we have a pH of about 7 or 7.4. 7. That's where we want to be. We don't want to be too acidic. You want to be too acidic? I mean, what would, what would battery acid do to your body if you just took a bath in battery acid? What would it do to us? Bring your body. It would destroy us, wouldn't it? It would. So we don't want to be too acidic. We don't want to be too basic. We want to be what? Right in the middle, okay? We want to be neutral. So let's see what we can do. I've got some liquid in here. This is a clear liquid, but this liquid is also vinegar. Do you eat, do you eat vinegar? <laughs> what? You don't eat vinegar? You don't eat acid? Vinegar is an acid, isn't it? You put acid on your food? Yes. So what kind of acid do you put in your food? Lemons. Lemons? Oh, yeah. What I about? Like lemons. <laughs> yeah. And sa how about salad dressing? Yeah. Salad dressings have vinegar in it, too. So now we have a very, 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 very strong vinegar, and it's a vinegar, and it's mixed with about water, about 5%. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go out. I'm going to pour some of this in there. Now, this is going to represent somebody that is pure. His whole life was pure. He never sinned at all, and he came to this earth to save us from our sins. And who was? Why is that? God. It's Jesus. God. That's right. Jesus Christ. And he gave his life so that you and I could be saved, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that. So he gave his life. He lived on this planet. He lived a very, very good life. No one was as good as he. What happened? Whoa. What happened to all that? And, and that's exactly what he can do for you and for me. You want your sins to be washed away? I want my sins to be washed away, and he can do that. You know, it says that Jesus could not save himself and save us. He couldn't do both. And so what did he do? Did he, what did he sacrifice? His son. He sacrificed himself, didn't he, in order so that you and I could have salvation through him. How about that? And Jesus didn't come into this earth to condemn us. You like people to condemn you? I don't like people to condemn me. No, not at all. Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn you. He says, I came to do what? Redeem you. Save us from our sins. And that's exactly what he did. Hey, wasn't that fun to use those chemicals? That was. I just love how God can clean our sins. I'm so thankful. You want to put that away? 
But you know what? That reminds me of so many things that we can confess our sins, right? And he's just, I don't like people saying, oh, you did this wrong and you did this long when they are mean about it. Have you seen some people that tell you when you've done something wrong mm -hmm. and they were nice about it? And then somebody else might say the same thing about what you did wrong, but say it in a nice way. That makes a big difference, right? When somebody is your friend and they come to you and they do it in a loving way. And that's what we want to do with others. We want to be able to share something in a loving way. So it's a good to help support each other it by is. finding good things. And with this acid, yes, we want something. And that reminds me that even having good thoughts, we were talking about healthy diets here, right? Mm -hmm. But our thoughts, also what we put in our mind, also they have had lots of studies and they say also that what your thoughts, good thoughts, also change the chemical in your brain. Did you know that? That's and right. you have good thoughts. And so the more good thoughts you have, the more you're putting in good things, and that helps your body fight even diseases. That's kind of amazing how God made our bodies in such a way that we want a variety. That's right. A variety is good, isn't it? It is good. We've got, we've got fruits and nuts right here, but you know, we, I don't have any vegetables on the, on the table. But oh, we need more green we've, vegetables. We've got to think? have more vegetables. That's right. And that's right. God wants us to have, and what is spiritual food that we can put into our body? Because it's, we want a balance. What, what kind of spiritual things can we do mm. that also help us in our mind Focus on God. What kind of things can we do? Can you think of anything? Praying. Praying. Praying that's, that's right. Anything um, else? Reading the Bible. Reading the Bible. Can you mm -hmm. think of something else? Uh, spending more time with Jesus. Spending more time with Jesus? Yeah. How about you, Noelia? Can you think of something? Doing outreach. Doing outreach. I love that. Excellent. And even singing outside, going outside. But you're right. Once we take in these, we want to go out into the world, right? and be that light for Jesus. It reminds me of a text in our Bible. Can you find the Bible text for me? Mm -hmm. Can you grab the Bible for me? And I think it's Psalms 51, verse two. Can you help me read that nice and clearly? Because I think that ties into what we're doing today. What is it? Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. So do you know what that word iniquity means? It means that you are full of sin, right? We're sinful. Every day I make a mistake and I say, Lord, when I go down and I pray at night, what do I need to say? I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. I yeah. know I made a mistake today. I did this and I did this, but I know that you can forgive me. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that God is willing to forgive us. Do we and have to be sorry? Well, we need to be sorry for our sin, and hopefully that means that you want to yeah. have a change of heart. That's right. Okay, and sometimes we still make the same mistake. Do you make the same mistake? <laughs> like, and you know, sometimes that, those are things that sometimes we have to work on, but that's okay because God forgives us, right? He does. And we want to have that balance, but going out in nature, spending time in prayer, spending time in the Bible, those are things that we can put in that help us and have a good attitude, a good heart like Jesus. I'm so thankful Absolutely. for that. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And let's, don't forget about eating variety of foods. Mm -hmm. And not only sugar and chocolate. No. Oh, we no. don't want that because oh, that no. wouldn't be a good balance, would no, it? No, we wouldn't. Mm -mm. No, we, and don't yeah. forget your vegetables, okay? Fruits, yeah. nuts, and vegetables. They're all things that God had prepared for us, right? He prepared a very, very balanced diet for us but we've got to make sure that we do the variety of foods. You're right. So you constantly want to eat and live for Jesus so that you can be out in the world and in the community. Can you do that for me? We can see God's creation all around us because creation is... Science. Science. Who's ready to dive into some of this food? You want some grapes oh and some boy. nuts? How about some berries? Anybody like berries? Anybody want some? Those are great berries. There's an grapes. apple too. I'm going to grab some. It's organic too. An organic. That is like just apple. awesome. Cool. Don't forget to eat a balanced diet.